guys. Um, just wanted to let everybody know uh, if you guys were a fan of the uh, fan fiction called Transformers Avatar Chronicles, I am happy to report that Jason Voorhees has finally posted the first chapter to its sequel, Transformers New Icon Chronicles. Now, New Icon, for those who don't know, this is a Transformers uh, Legend of Korra crossover. It is a direct sequel, like I said, to Transformers uh, Avatar Chronicles. What it is, is pretty much, it's like I said, the sequel, and it takes place 70 years after, of course, the events of Avatar The Last Airbender, and the Autobots are still on Earth, and Republic City is not called Republic City. It is called New Iacon, out of respect for Iacon, the Autobot capital uh, back on Cybertron. The Autobots can't return back home, and they, they rebuilt a city out of the Fire Nation colonies, and it's been called New Iacon. It is the, uh, like, capital for the Autobots, and as well as humans. And I, for the first chapter, I gotta say, I, it was really good. I really loved um, Jason Voorhees' uh, first chapter. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna put a link below for if you, uh, if you guys want to check it out. Now, normally you guys know me for not being a big, um, you know, not really enjoying Korra's first season, Legend of Korra first season. But however, uh, I'm really interested to see where he where he goes with it. And I've uh, I've helped him. Uh, I've uh, co-plotted this story with him. And uh, I know some of the things that are going to happen, but he still has a few surprises for me that I'm, I'm really curious to see, because he did a lot of it. I just kind of uh, helped with a few other idea, ideas. excuse me. But the story is, around, gonna, is going to focus around Korra and her Autobot guardian, Hot Rod. The, um, yes, Hot Rod is going to play a big role in this, um, of course. So, yeah, Korra and Hot Rod are the main characters, but of course we've got Mako, Asami, and Bolin, and they're also going to get Autobot Guardians along the way uh, further on down the road. I don't want to say who, uh, unless you've seen the video, so you already uh, the video beforehand where we talked about the, uh, the video in question, but I don't want to say who if you haven't seen it yet, but um, you will be surprised, because we... Um, here's the thing with what Jason likes to do. Jason likes to use... Uh, lesser-known Autobots and Decepticons as big characters, and the Equalists are the villains, but he's really changed the round the Equalists. There are Decepticons they're working with, but it's more of a Headmaster's villain. I'll say that. It is a Headmaster's era villain that is the big, um, the guy pulling the strings, and there's somebody even, there may be a possibility of somebody even bigger pulling the strings. So, just gonna let you guys uh, sit on that one. But yeah, like I said, uh, this is very um, Cora and Hot. This is basically Cora and Hot Rod uh, learning to be who they are and who they will become eventually. You guys know what I mean by that. So yeah. Um, anyway, what was I gonna say? But yeah, um, for the first chapter was really good. Um, if you're a fan of the original 80s movie, you'll probably enjoy the little, um, there is a mention of, of, there is a song in there from the original 80s movie, and I think a lot of people would kind of enjoy that scene between, there's a nice little scene between Korra and Hot Rod racing, and that's where the song comes in. But, yeah, I don't want to really spoil a lot in here. I mean, for, I should also mention real quick, uh, that another thing, another cool little change, rather than calling... Uh, the uh, there's metal benders as police. It's gonna be it's re been retitled as the Elite Guard. The Elite Guard is made is made up of metal benders and Autobots, and it's under the command of Lynn and Ironhide. And, but yeah, there are gonna be some major twists in here. We have talked about it, like um, of what's going to happen. And he he's told me like the other ideas he's had, but he said like yeah, I want to keep a lot of it secret, even from you, even though you've helped. I'm like. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with being surprised. So, yeah. Once again, guys, um, I will leave a link in the description below. And, yeah. Uh, once again, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, yeah. go. Um, please subscribe to Jason Voorhees 2011's channel. Uh, he did a lot of work on this. And tell him, uh, please tell him that, that he did a good, a good job. I think he did a phenomenal job. But anyway, that's all I have to say. I'm out.